Hey Sagittarius, this is going to be um, the end of the November reading for, it's just going to be an any card reading, so just write on them um, and we'll yeah, begin. I'll just do the card. It's for your sun, moon, rising. If you like, share and subscribe, that'd be great. If you do. <laughs> What's up, sun, moon, rising? We'll read from the bottom. Right, so Sagittarius, you're moving away from something. Something you ended a complete cycle with. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Something you're married to, mother of your children. Yeah, uh, and that could be, may involve a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, somebody who could be ready to fight at this time. Somebody who could come from your past. Yeah, um... You could have dipped a toe in, you've got two cups, so you've got a small one for the Queen of Pentacles, and you've got a bigger one for the Queen of Swords. And you're dipping your toe in the water, but on this side with a big cup, so the Queen of Swords, the Gemini, Luke or Aquarius, you're dipping your toe in the water, and you've got a big cup. On the other side, you've not got your foot in the water at all, you've got out of your emotions. And that could have been because of one night stand energy, maybe you went off and had a new beginning going in this direction, it looks like. <coughs> Yeah, so your relationship, there's been an ending to the situation, a complete ending. Uh, yeah, and you put your guard up. Maybe it was to do with spying online, maybe you noticed this person had choices, so you went off and, yeah, cried over your spilled milk, and then did what you did, moved on from a family situation, maybe onto another family situation. Aries could have been involved, but you could have just manifested something, um... Maybe you felt like this person, maybe you manifested a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, and maybe you felt like that was justice as well, so. We may be going back in time, because <laughs> I have been in these things for some reason. Yeah, money could be coming. The letter B could be relevant. AM could be relevant, September could be relevant, and uh, clairvoyance, you can see into the future. Somebody's been a love form in the other person, and emotions are relevant at the time. Black Dark Force, May, and Scouser. Flip these ones in the times, there we go. Yeah, you need to heal your heart chakra this time as well. Maybe you've healed yourself, maybe with that light card. Maybe you were softened in silence. Maybe you felt like this was your destiny, that you were in a waiting game. Yeah, you had to heal yourself. Maybe somebody was pouring into two gardens, into, you know, into two plants. What a lot of flowers? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. There might be nine or ten flowers there. Somebody might have been doing a lot of watering. <laughs> Yeah, you had to get grounded as well, Sarge, so you had to also cut things out of your life, you may have to divorce, you may be divorcing this person, yeah, there was a lot of temptations around there and a lot of disruptions, a lot of things got blown apart and that could have been, even by the universe, could have been guided by the universe, yeah, this person's wishing bad on you, yeah, there could be, um, yeah, there could be a sun card, it could be, you could have a young children as well with this person, it could be a red flag around one of the youngest children, yeah, um, that might have even have you in your head at the night time, you could have had screens and you are attached to trash, uh, bibliocation, which is the ability to be present at the same time in two places, knowingly spreading STD, you could have been um, hanging on in there for quite a while with this person, like waiting. You could have fallen out a lot of times. It could have been a coven that had been formed. So somebody could have like been in with other people, wishing bad on you. The letter A and the letter A, you may have felt like Sagittarius. It could have been a sassy black woman. Divination was going on, yeah. STD ridden sex addicts on the loose. The letter K could be relevant. And they're clueless to a situation. A fair party situation. Maybe somebody had you in a fair party even with an Aries. When Aries was involved in some way, planning on kidnap. Maybe that Aries is planning on kidnap. <laughs> you know, an Aries, be careful. 
Yeah, you could have thought someone was a blessing, but you definitely somebody put a fair put a light on a third party situation. That could have even been a Leo. Something could have happened in the summer. Somebody could be doing an evil eye on you. It could have been an earth sign. The colour had been moving extremely slowly. An endless stream of diarrhea came out of their mouth. The police could be involved in the situation. You know it already. So something's going on, you know already. Yeah, secrets are coming out now. Integrity is needed and talking behind your back, chatting about your sex life with other people and some of it's happening at work. So somebody's actually going into work and talking about your sex life with other people. Or oh, that's you, Sarge. Yeah. Don't look back. For clarity and something overseas is relevant. Maybe somebody is overseas, yeah. Someone's hidden a bug in your house, so I can hear you. Integrity is needed now because no one else has any. Someone's from abroad again, a mistress that could be. Someone's a dirty German, that's it. And a big family feud is about to take place. You're profoundly clairvoyant. Twice you've had that. Codependency, integrity is needed, and someone is going to get arrested. Fake profiles could be relevant. And don't wonder, no, heavy spell work. You could be under heavy spell work, and that could be to do with someone's dark skin, Sagittarius, yeah. There you are, or another Sagittarius is involved. Capricorn could also be involved. No rest for the wicked. Your family knows about this, and someone's trying to travel, check yourself, and batshit crazy out of control with it, and that could be a Taurus. Could be a few people involved in the situation, and some of these people could have this in their charts, and it could just be one person. Psychokinesis or telekinesis allows the influence of physical systems without physical interaction. That means they can move things without touching them. Self-worth, BPD, abandonment issues, child abuse, clocking your ass, someone's watching you, watching, watching. <laughs> yeah. You need to use your throat chakra, you need to talk, Sagittarius. That might take you a bit of spiritual strength. Yeah, use your intuition at this time. The truth's coming. And you will be able to make a positive move forward then. You may be going through heartache and loss at this time because of harmony or what you consider to be harmony. Your victory and success and your material harvest, which is in reverse, so that isn't going on at the moment, is because of the situation you're in. Your own family are laughing, dissing and bitching behind your back. You need to have patience in the situation so passion will be ignited again. Yeah, a new beginning with passion. And you'll have to make a choice um, and you'll have to speak your truth. Somebody may come with an apology, but there's a lot of illusions and lies around that situation. The tower's going to come down on it. It's going to leave you in your head, Sagittarius. You need to build on your own money to get your victory and success. Build on yourself. Make a decision to move away and do it. Yeah, and then you'll get a new beginning with stability. You could have an Aries come in your life, offering you stability. There's a lizard there, though. So he's a chameleon, and he's got a few little new notches on his branchlet. There's a few things going on in that Aries life. Yeah, judgment could be called on the situation as well. Somebody could have two families. Judgment will be called on that. Yeah, and that will break your heart, maybe. And maybe you'll feel like you can't make a choice between two because you'll have the lover's card, which means there will be a choice between two. Someone's trying to play with your mind, and that could be a bottom feeder. Cancer could be relevant. Untrustworthy, totally. You see into their soul. Move differently now. And they'll be burning when they pee, so they've got an STD. These games are voluntarily played. And well, that backfired. They have hidden lovers lots. And they got pregnant to keep them. And the most they did want anyway. Somebody could be doing shadow work with somebody else at this time. You could know that Sagittarius with your intuition. Making money off you as well. You could be married. You could have said vows with this person. Ostrogen could be relevant. Gemini, Cancer, Cusp. Transportation. Trust and have faith. Yeah, the spiritual union is coming your way, but you need to let go of these memories of love, build a firm foundation, rejoice in celebration. You will get your foundation and achievements then. You need to heal your sacral chakra as well, it could be to do with your childhood. You know what you're doing, and yeah, the art. Moon in Pisces, and your mother could be relevant. And this person is a red oh, Yeah, maybe your mother. Invested in someone else, surprise sex, and uh, a relationship status, yes, for some reason. Your health, 
I'm feeling emotionally withdrawn at the moment. You might even be looking at people with a bit of deception and envy, doing devious things, maybe Sagittarius, to get back at people. It don't work, though, does it really? Yeah. You're in the hangman as well. You're enlightened to a situation, but you're not moving forward on it. Um, and this person's trying to set you up to rob you. Be careful. Yeah, you're ignoring things as well. Burdens that you need to drop to have triumph and success. You're looking at ships coming. You need to take a better view. It could be a Virgo involved, but you need to shine a light on the situation maybe there. Yeah, because maybe you're arguing with this person and having the last say, having wanted to have the last say. That could be to do with your solar plexus. You could need to heal that. Yeah, and the emotional loss you feel and the trapped in fear, you need to move on, Sagittarius, and you're very aware of it with that awareness card. It's just causing you conflict and defeat. Yeah, you need to do cup cord meditations. H could be relevant. Somebody could be in the Freemasons or want to be, for real, for real, and they're evil. You were never meant for this person, or that they're in that group could be. Your magnetism is powerful. They're in a runner and someone's getting a big shock. Aspect projection, working with the moon cycles, and this person triple dips and everything involved. Pyrokinesis, controlling flames. You could get passionate messages coming into you soon, and that could be about partnership and alliances. Somebody gets they want to come in with a triumph, but they've got a red flag, remember that. Stand your ground, Sagittarius, so you can get recognition and reward, yeah. And you've got the cards of Leo. You need to get the lion out in you. You need to become half man, half lion. <laughs> nighttime lurking. Somebody could be going around your area of a night time. The letter R could be relevant. Pay attention to what you don't see. And there's fraud around this situation. The letter T could be relevant. Even though you're very discontent and bored at the moment, you've come out of this sacrifice mode where you've had to let things go. You're having a big transformation. You find balance in your life to have a new beginning. You could have an Aries coming into your life, Sagittarius, definitely, because you keep coming up with that card. Could just be you're going in Aries energy, um, cold hearted, dead somebody. It could be someone coming back from the past as well. They've been in your house when you aren't there. And God could be relevant. Someone's really upset, or you could think they're God anyway, think they're blocked. A defective condom. And take care of financial needs. Secrets about lights are on, and you're. X stole your national insurance number, so they could be using it for a legal, you know, <laughs> rip you the fuck off, basically. You know, you need to make decisions and move, man. Love life is relevant. It's about to go down. Trying to play with your mind, stalking you bad. The veil is being lifted, and you're in their dreams. A tribe of warrior women, yeah, prosperity could be beginning. You're going to have choices you're going to have to make, and you could have a choice about fertility. Somebody could be pregnant, which is your third eye chakra in that situation. Things aren't going to start moving yet because it's in reverse. A safer from fucked up freaks, and you're a powerful light worker. Anything you put at me, I put back on you. Base chakra and chameleons, yeah, an automatic right in. Your ex could be relevant. Sexual tension could be going on there. Yeah, and then you've got hope in the situation, the sun card. Someone's coming out of that sun, man. Someone's healed, coming out of themselves, yeah. You need to make wise choices, man. Rest and rejuvenate, and then love can begin. You can have obstacles and challenges around that situation, yeah. Yeah, and this person's having sex with you, take your money. So if someone comes back, they want money, yeah. They could have a side piece as well, jeans relevant. Someone fucked up big time's in trouble now. Heavy dark candle magic and the shady ex friend plotting a plan around you. Life will never be the same again. And these people wishing, wanting your death or an accident think you will take them back after they were rejected. And telling you everyone you're home is sad. This person blames you from childhood. And these people cannot even look you in the face. Waking up half naked in the car park, watching, watching, watching. And someone's using your national insurance number. Said that already. <laughs> yeah, crown chakra could be relevant, and you're just blindfolding yourself to a lot of truths at the moment. You're ignoring any kind of love that's coming in. That's could have you could have had a sneaky behaviour with somebody who's pregnant in the background. The message is going to come in of that pregnancy too. You snuck off to somebody, Sagittarius. So there's a pregnancy either you or them, and yeah, somebody spying on life. Somebody making on with sharp truth about that as well. A few trustworthy friends and one unknown enemy. Yeah, you're, you're trying to walk away from something, but it's caused an ending. And somebody knows secrets on that situation. Some of you may have left out in the cold on a family situation, yeah. 
Maybe this person wants to have a new beginning with love, now they're very single. Yeah, they thought it was going to go to a higher level of commitment, maybe with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Maybe that person was your soulmate. And yeah, then there's no patience and planning anymore. Somebody's gone into solitude, you're ignoring each other, there's a lot of mental conflict. And yeah, it's fulfillment. This was your wish, or this was there. It's coming to a lot of wisdom now, though. There's a lot of dads to a situation, and another woman, your sister, or cousin, or friend could be involved, or the other woman is. On crazy shit again, and a group of plotting and planning behind your back. The letter N. Yeah, and your ex is now fucking your family member. <laughs> whoop whoop, this is the sign of the police. I'm afraid there's no more filters, and someone's trying to drug you. Beware, a snake is around you, you're missing something. Release all things, hex and curse with that sender, Illuminati, solving problems with violence, and you get way too good to be fucking that. Squealing like a little piglet when you grab its tail, and yeah, someone's in trouble with the, with the police singing like a canary. And what's actually really more than nothing, run, childhood issues, a car ha crash could happen. And they thought you didn't know jokes from them. Crown chapter, and you're still watching, I'm still talking. A sassy white woman, we've got the black woman now, we've got the white woman, there's you, Sagittarius, find a balance in your life. Could be using a lot of strength to do that, could be Leo, you could feel guided by by spirit, yeah, because of juggling, because of a devil energy, could have been a cup corner, but obviously you've definitely been a player there, that's your card though. Yeah, having to be very guarded now, maybe you've looked at what you've got, and maybe you're thinking about going in with an apology to somebody. <laughs> And yeah, you could have lost a court case and somebody's walking out the door. Siblings hating you with others. There's something that matters about that. I'll do a few of these and then I think I'll leave it there. Some of the love could be a jackpot. The answer is yes to everything you're asking. And any resistance to change could felt difficult. You don't cling to the past. Light the end of the tunnel. Don't give up. Just take life slower. Be kind to reason and reward. Something very karmic. Let's get a few of these on it. Yeah, the Empress card. She procures the love of women of any age and tells where tr her treasure is hidden. Tells of the past, present, and future. Then we've got the Magician. He gives good health and financial prosperity and connects one safely with the Divine. So if you're connecting with upstairs, it's actually got some help. Guide of the waters can make storms and rough seas, causes men to die in three days. You need to move on from this situation, you and this person, because you're actually doing out the worst in each other. Yeah, it could be an Aries, because you keep getting an Aries coming up. Controls the weather, rain. This is what person's control for you, basically. You could also have a Leo around you as well, that could be relevant. Someone who builds high towers around themselves can cause rough water and finds witches. Yeah, and I've got another one. Someone's very strong and faithful fighter there and follows commands when they're asked to do stuff, they do it. And the King of Cups teaches astronomy and liberal arts brings good familiars. I feel like you're, you've got an Aries going out of your life. You may have a Leo coming in your life. It's all the fire signs, they said. <laughs> Bit of water in there. Or an, uh, and, and you've got a... Uh, that's what's coming in. And I think what's leaving maybe is an earth sign. Yeah, skin and pelleas, the letter range rather. You could have an air sign and somebody get away to be careful and secretly recording you that person could be lying on you to ruin your reputation. A big set of the letter H and somebody's having out of body experiences. And yeah, you need to check your close circles, friends as well, because they're not all real. And yeah, happy omen success and happy hopes fulfilled. So this person is working undercover and checking you. One in a million. Finish what you started. It's important to get it completed. Try something new. Relax. Everything's okay. Don't worry. Be happy. And this person's creeping in your family. Risky commitment. Anger. It's time to let go of anger and blame. Connect to a spirit in the universe. Talk about your feelings. And the first one's not always the best. Worth waiting for. Your patience will be rewarded. The beginning of a new era, embrace it. Someone was a cheating scoundrel anyway, and good news for a joint venture. Where does this person want to go with this? Nowhere. 
and use reasoning over emotion. Start to say, don't put it off. And yeah, expect difficulties in the period. This would only be a rebound if you went back with these people because it's just because you, you're lonely. And one step at a time. Little steps make big dreams. Change the changes that you're going for a positive and listen to your true feelings. Um, don't let others talk you out of it. And before you make a big mistake, look back at this relationship. Okay? Right, I'm going to leave it there, Sagittarius. I think you need to move forward with lots of love and light. Take care. Bye-bye.